I'm Richard Erb, Managing Director of Robotics Trends. I'm uh, pleased to be here with uh, Corey Clothier from uh, Six Zulu, and Corey is a strategist and uh, leader in uh, Robot Town and the development of Robot Town. And uh, you got a lot of people excited here in Boston about the project. Uh, would you mind, uh, Corey, for our audience, just explain a little bit about the initiative and uh, some of the goals of the project? Sure, absolutely. It actually originated um, from the Army, from Jim Overholt. So it was his idea to create an integrated living laboratory, is what we call it. So it's essentially a community where robots will be interacting with the public. So they'll interact with their day-to-day -day lives. It could be service robots, you know, street sweepers, lawnmowers, um, healthcare, those types of things, all interacting, but with the intent to really um, understand the operation and this kind of, you know, see it acting with, with the humans and also getting test data and really working on reliability and safety. But, you know, it becomes the best lab is actually getting them on the streets and with the people. Uh, is there location and uh, timing of uh, the development of the program? Will it be phased in? It will be. There's a phased approach. It's in southeast Michigan. What we're doing, Robot Town in Detroit is our first phase. Yeah. We're hoping to actually have multiple locations around the country. Robot Town, Austin, Robot Town, um, Sacramento, who knows? You know, yeah. we're just kind of, we're starting with Detroit because that's the area we know and that's where we live. And our focus primarily is ground mobile robots. So that way we can tie into the automotive industry as well as the U.S. Army Tardec that's nearby. Why now? Is you know, given where technology is and the importance and growing role of robotics uh, in the workforce as well as in the, the battlefield and other locations, is, is, is now the right time? Yeah, it, it is. You can really see, if you, if you look at the trends and what's going on in the marketplace, we're, it's, you know, we always see, somebody mentioned today in the, the conference that all of the business curves are that typical hockey stick. So yeah. we're, we seem to be ramping up rapidly right now. And, it, and what we see is all of these kind of, they're not divergent efforts, but they're siloed efforts. And we thought Robot Town would be a great way to also collaborate and start to bring industry, academia, and the federal research and development together to work, to work on these problems. Right. Uh, how do people get involved? Are you looking for partners, sponsors? Um, what's sort of yeah. your outreach program? Is it more local or national? Um, it is actually national. We've, we're starting to assemble a board of advisors and one of your um, Boston leaders and Helen Greener is one of our uh, advisors. And uh, I think she actually even asked to be the first mayor of Robot Town. Yeah. So Helen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she will be our first honorary mayor wow. once, once we get up and running. But we do ha we are hand selecting um, kind of the best and the brightest around the country, and we're really looking for um, a nas this this to lead a national effort and national strategy. Wow. Well, it sounds, uh, sounds very excited. Again, I uh, wish you all the best of luck with Robot Town. I look forward to working with you in future robo business events and hope to get involved with you as well at uh, Robot Town in the future. Great. Thanks. I appreciate it.